Okay, hello and welcome everyone. I'm Jason Gumpert from msdynamicsworld.com and welcome to one of the final events in our uh, spring 2015 financial automation webcast series. Today's event is our vendor shootout. We're really glad to have um, all of our um, sponsors here from uh, the series of events we've been running all throughout the season. It's been a busy one. Um, we've had uh, a lot of different events covering really a range of topics um, starting in April. Uh, covering things like document management, invoice and AP automation, business process management, forecasting, and other topics uh, related to the Microsoft Dynamics ERP products and, and more general trends. Uh, if you missed out on any of the sessions so far, I uh, suggest you go back to MS Dynamics World webcast section and seek those out. They're all available on demand. We also have another great session coming up in July that I'm really looking forward to. We had to reschedule it, but it's going to be looking at um, supply chain finance and um, ways for financial automation to help businesses around procurement and the supply chain. Uh, so that's really a great one featuring uh, Bill Macbeth of Chainlink Research. Uh, but for today, um, obviously, as I said, we couldn't run the series without our sponsors, and we're glad to have them uh, as a part of it. Representatives from these uh, organizations will each be presenting on their vision for uh, various elements of finance and, and financial management in the dynamic space. Uh, we have presenters today from Bottomline, uh, Bottomline Technologies, Avalara, Docstar, Lexmark, and Metafile. Uh, we do invite, they'll each have 10 minutes uh, to present as part of the event, and we also will leave time at the end for your questions. You can enter your questions anytime during the event in the Q&A block that you should see um, to the right of the slide area. Um, and uh, with that, we're going to get started. So our first presenter is David Leonard of Bottom Line Technologies. David, uh, it appears you have your line open. I'm going to give you control. And uh, we can begin. All right, thanks, Jason. And I'll take a moment here to share my presentation. All right, I start. I'm and thank you, everyone. You see that OK, Jason? All right. And thank you to everyone for joining this session today. We know you're keen to learn on how companies such as Bottom Line can help transform financial processes with your business. But within the 10 minutes allotted, I'll, I'll be focusing specifically on accounts payable invoice processing showcasing our Transform AP solution. Uh, so as Jason noted, my name is Dave Leonard. I'm uh, based here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I lead the sales team at Bottom Line Technologies. Uh, with emphasis on the financial document automation space. I've been in this market for over 20 years and, and performed in various roles, as you can see. And, and these experiences have allowed me to, to see things from all aspects, but most importantly, the customer's point of view, including the various roles within uh, organizations. So as we delve into accounts payable processing, I'll, put, um, I'll pull from this background to uh, provide the most impact for each of you during this session. I'll start by providing this graphic that reflects an Aberdeen study which tells us companies are you know, looking to drive operational efficiencies and, and, of course, reduce costs as the primary reasons to look at AP automation, which I'm sure resonates with many of you on the call today. We also know there can be a number of other reasons, and, and this list, of course, here is not all inclusive, but interestingly enough, these two are directly related in that if you drive more efficiencies, you'll naturally reduce costs. But why are costs so high, and, and, and why is there such a lack of proficiency with vendor invoice processing? That's the crux of the problem. So what causes this? The primary reason AP departments lack efficiency is, and, and much less elongated times to process these invoices, is simply you know, because for most, it's still a paper-based world. And with many manual touch points, the majority of these invoices are received via mail, although email attachments are becoming more and more prevalent, but often still open, printed, and, and then bringing you right back to paper. Now, in some cases, companies are still decentralized and, and have no visibility to invoices and where, they're, um, and where they're at in the process. And, and of course, in other scenarios, AP may receive and manually route out for coding and approval. Often multiple approvals are needed or they might have to deal with exceptions uh, during the matching process and, and need to contact the buyer for corrective action or approval, all the while manually keying this data into your dynamic system at the end of the process. You know, for some, you know, it's very, very much like this graphic here. It's a very chaotic process. 
Of course, it doesn't stop there. There's often uh, the, the net outcome of this, which is, you know, once the invoices are vouchered into Dynamics, uh, they get paid. And that leads to other manual processes, whether it be printing checks or having to manage and maintain vendor and bank details um, for those electronic payments. The overall net result is, of course, a very slow and labor-intensive, costly process. But again, we'll focus here on, on the invoice process today, but bottom line does have solutions that help streamline the payments piece as well. Now, we know there are different needs based on the user role within the business, and I know we have a certain collection of people joining today that map to these different roles. So with that said, I'm sure these items are, are important to all, but typically some are, are more important to others. So, you know, with each of you, um, you know, you typically work with a partner and, and you look to them as a trusted advisor and, and they want to bring you the most integrated solution. You know, IT often, of course, gets involved and, and needs to be involved and, and they want to ensure that they can minimize the number of systems they have to manage and leverage what's already in place where possible. And then as for the business users, well, if you're an AP user, you want to get rid of as much manual processes as possible and then you want to have as, uh, easy access to viewing and routing these invoices. Uh, other folks such as AP managers and controllers, they, they just overall want a better view of their spend liability and perhaps take advantage of some early payment discounts. So there's, there's various needs across these different roles. And with that said, you know, we'll be sure to touch on how the, the needs for each of these roles are addressed as we look to transform your business with Transform AP. You may hear me refer to this as TAP um, but, uh, to shorten it, but uh, they're basically speaking to the AP solution. Now what I've done here is I'll start with an overview of Transform AP and you'll see that it can, it can basically be broken down into three areas. First and foremost, you know, AP automation is really predicated on getting invoices captured electronically, whether this is by scanning paper documents or automatically receiving invoices as email attachments as I mentioned earlier. But regardless of how it comes into the business, by imaging and utilizing data capture such as our capture solution, Transform Active Capture, paper can be eliminated um, from downstream processes and metadata collected automatically through OCR without manual data entry. Now for some organizations, they may not want to touch the paper process at all, and this can completely be outsourced and, and just have data, eliminate the whole mailroom function and, and let that be managed through a lockbox service. Now once all that's achieved, then you'd start driving workflow automation through uh, things like automated matching, GL coding approvals online, um, all the while being able to audit and track these steps throughout the process. Now, not to be overlooked in all that, of course, is to be able, the ability to be able to integrate in real time so you maintain data integrity throughout the life cycle. Now, what I want to do is look at each one of these a little bit closer as, as we delve into this. And we'll start by the, the capture piece. We know AP spends a lot of time manually keying in data, and this is a very inefficient process. And this can be automated through OCR. And our Transform Active Capture capabilities not only include basic header information, such as things like invoice number, invoice date, amount, taxes, freight, et cetera, um, but it also can include line item detail. And it, it does all this utilizing a combination of rules and learn on the fly capabilities so that users don't have to spend so much time keying in data, rather focusing on just exceptions and other more important tasks. As we continue downstream, you know, essentially you'll see there are two fundamental types of invoices that are, are processed within organizations. Uh, if we start with the non-PO based invoices, these typically require someone to provide GL details, sometimes AP themselves or, or other people in the field enter this information. So rules can facilitate getting the appropriate invoices delivered out to the right person. And then our non-PO task form you know, in SharePoint provides a facility for users to look up this information in real time. Um, you can even leverage GL coding templates to automatically populate this information. Uh, PO-based task forms uh, allow for automated uh, processing, even straight through processing uh, with tolerances included. So that way you, you don't know, users don't even have to touch the invoices where applicable if it goes straight through the system. Now where there are exceptions, of course, then these things can be routed out to the appropriate per 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 uh, person um, for managing accordingly. Now there's other things to consider with workflow, and that is uh, if you require, um, you can build, have, use pre-built workflows where the customer can configure the path to take, uh, whether it's to a single user, multiple users. You know, what's equally important is, is offering different methods for, for users to gain access. And uh, those things can include mobile devices, whether it be iPads, smartphones, or, or just even simple thing like an email. So regard, depending on the user, they have quick access, all the while being able to 
take care of your basic things like as reminders and notifications, delegations, how to deal with out of office and auto escalations. The overall goal there, of course, is just continuing to move the invoice through the process. And then lastly here is um, uh, on the workflow side is it's important to be able to provide you know, an audit trail of every single action in the process. So we have a dashboard that allows for quick access to these various uh, items. Uh, this can include things like uh, reporting, accrual reports, invoice status, productivities, trend reports. And because it's built on SharePoint, you know, there's even the ability to build out your custom list views um, and or different reports, such as uh, an example here. This kind of breaks it down by vendor, so you can look at trending data again or, or any other kind of general reporting information. Can't help but emphasize, once again, the, the value of real-time integration so that things automatically get put into the dynamic system as well as being able to pull and view that document back automatically without people having to log back and forth between systems. So as we bring this back together, you know, for all those different roles, you know, you'll see that you know, Transform AP does add a, a lot of value uh, to these different people that are involved in the process and uh, will reduce that overall time for invoice processing through automation. IT will, of course, be glad to know that it doesn't require any you know, new or uh, additional content management systems or any kind of proprietary technology, all, all the while having a real-time integrated solution. So in summary, you know, uh, as we bring this all together, Transform AP provides that real-time integrated package that uh, allows you to leverage SharePoint. Um, as I mentioned, it is a pack of solutions with uh, some, a lot of standard out-of-the-box functionality that allows you to get up and uh, running quickly with a uh, services methodology to, that's uh, days, uh, not months. And overall, you know, the configurations that you can uh, manipulate or, or change to meet your requirements are there as well. And I'll just conclude by, you know, mentioning that, you know, for those of you not familiar with Bottom Line as a company, we're based out of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Uh, we are a global company, so if you have, um, you know, offices or locations that reach around the globe, we, you know, we do have uh, facilities in both uh, Europe as well as the uh, Asia-Pac region. And uh, we are publicly traded, and uh, you can gain further information about us on the web. With that said, um, I will turn it back to uh, Jason and, and pass it on to the next person. All right. Thanks so much, Dave. And we will now uh, give control and uh, time to John Litwa of Avalara. John, you should now have control. Let me take you off. Can you see my screen? We can see your screen. All right. Great. So thanks, everybody, for joining. My name is John Litwa. I'm a sales manager here at Avalara. Uh, I actually currently work with all of our Microsoft Dynamics customers to educate, explore, and implement our automated solutions for sales tax processes. So number one, why, why are companies outsourcing? Uh, and you know, these are the top three reasons when we talk to our customers uh, out there. You know, why did they join Avalara? You know, people don't want to spend time on things that aren't driving bottom line or top line revenue. Uh, it's an aggravating process because there's a lot of manual pieces to it. Uh, and number three, risk. People are putting themselves out there, and they're not really 100% sure that they're doing it the right way every time. When we look at how our solution works, uh, you know, to, to play off the previous presentation, it's a real-time calculation. So we have a pre-built software connector that would be installed in your dynamic system. And when someone enters an invoice or takes an order online, the system communicates with our web service and sends over some transactional data. We then are able to calculate that tax and return it back into the system automatically. And all of that happens within under a second. So I wanted to take some time to show you guys what that looks like. So I'm going to switch over to uh, Dynamics GP, and I want to show three main functions here. I'm going to show you guys add a tax, set it to tax schedule ID. We're going to look at our address validation feature, and then we'll show you how you calculate tax on a sales entry, uh, sales transaction entry. And the reason why we look at these three functions is to highlight that Nothing in your current workflow is going to change. If anything, it's going to come easier. So when we look at the tax schedule ID down here uh, as Avitax, what we hear from our customers when we talk about sales tax processes is they're researching tax rates, they're researching the different product taxability, and then they're manually updating those tables. And then at the end, they have to go through and pick 
one of those tables to apply to that particular customer. When the Avitax solution is installed in the system, all we do is have the tax schedule set to Avitax for all of the customers. And that's something that allows the system to be triggered and enter in the correct information on your invoices. Second, we can look at your address validation tool. You know, everybody's human. We all enter in uh, addresses incorrectly then and again. Uh, but it's starting to affect companies because the United States Postal Service, FedEx, UPS, they've all put in fines and penalties for things that get uh, sent back to um, their origin. They're not ending up at the right place. So as you can see, we've taken out some pretty pertinent information. And with the address validation feature, the address is now put into a U U.S. postal format. And why this is important is because our system uses geospatial technology to drill down the rooftop level accuracy so that we're able to look at these locations within the, ta the taxing jurisdiction that they fall. Um, so finally, we can look at the sales transaction order. So we talked about the real-time calculation a couple minutes ago, and I want to show you guys what that looks like. So when we, on this order, we need to find out what the tax is. All we have to do is calculate that tax, and within a second, you've got the most accurate information as far as your taxing schedule is concerned. So with the Avitax solution plugged in, that triggered Dynamics to call out to our web service, and within that time frame, we were able to put back the correct rate and show that one more time just to show you guys uh, the functionality. So now that we've taken a look at Avitax within Dynamics, uh, the address validation tool, and some of the sales, sales order action, uh, you know, I hope that everyone would agree that you know, your workflow does stay the same, uh, if not get easier. So I want to hop over to the admin console. And this is really the heart of all the tax compliance functions that we have here at Avalara. And this is a landing page with service notifications, account alerts, uh, and then you have access to different training classes, documents, and all of our support features. So when someone's onboarded with Avalara, one of the most important things to do is set up their company's tax profile. And what we do is we assign a go-live coordinator from Avalara who's going to walk your customer through the process of designating their nexus jurisdiction, as well as mapping their items within the dynamic space. And all of the information that's passed over from GP to the admin console is accessible within the transaction section. So what we can do is we can start to look at some of the transactions that have come over from the system. So let's say a customer calls and says, you know, Bill, I need to know how you calculated the tax on our last invoice. And with one easy report, you have access to some drop-down information which shows exactly what jurisdiction that tax was in. And a really neat feature is the ability just to print it out, show all of the tax details, and send that off to your customer so that they can have that for their records. And finally, we have the tax return section. And based off of the transactions that are in the system, this is where we can file the remit returns on our customers' behalf. So this function eliminates all the processes around running different reports, filling out forms, cutting checks, uh, and trying to get that into the, the mail or making your payments online. Uh, you'll have access to all of the different liability data that we would find in the system. And you can go in and do a checks and balances versus uh, what is in your general ledger. And another feature that the Go Live Coordinator assists with is setting up the returns processing. Uh, you know, when are those returns going to occur? And finally, we'll take a look at our CERT Capture product. So CERT Capture is a place that creates, validates, stores, and manages your sales tax exemption certificates and makes them available for easy retrieval. So it ensures what you guys would have on file is filled out properly and up to date. So once a customer is onboarded with Avalara, they get set up in CERT Capture by filling out their company information. We import all the customers from Dynamics. Uh, and then we have to import all their existing 
information into the system as far as their exemption certificates are concerned. That really happens in three ways. We can upload things in a bulk file. We also have a professional services team here at Avalara that can handle it for our customers. But the easiest way is to send out a campaign. So we can actually go in and search all the customers that are in the system. And once those customers have been identified in the system, we have access to a really simple email campaign that goes out to the customer just by choosing the reason why they're exempt and sending them that out to them. Everything in Avalara Cert Capture is customized to match your organization. So when they go to the website, they're going to see your logo. They're going to receive an email with your signature and as well as your company's information. So it doesn't look like there's a third party involved that's capturing their information. Uh, so, you know, let's take a quick look. I do love this feature, uh, you know, in the event of an audit. You know, I think everyone would agree it would take a very long time if you have hundreds of exemption certificates to gather that information. So we can do a real quick search for the certificates. Let's say there was an auditor from uh, Alabama. All you have to do is one click of the button and you have access to all that information. Then you can actually perform a bulk print of all of that information and give that right over to the to the auditor that might be at your office. So, you know, why do people choose Avalara? Uh, we're an industry leader. Uh, we've got 450 pre-built certified connectors. We're able to plug in. We're infinitely scalable. One day you might not have a shopping cart, but the next day you do. You don't have to go and find another solution. You can continue working with Avalara. If you outgrow GP and move to NAV or AX, you can go and just stay with Avalara. We truly are an end-to-end -end solution. And the most impressive thing that I think for the company is our retention rate. We've got a 98% renewal rate with our customers. The product's very sticky. Once you start using it, you're probably not going to stop. It's probably the equivalent of somebody gave you an iPhone uh, and let you use it for a year. You're probably not going to hand it back you're probably going to find out how much it costs to continue using that. So that's good for me. Uh, I appreciate your guys' time, and I will hand it back over, and we can proceed with the rest of the presentation. All right. Thanks so much, John. Uh, this is so much, John. And uh, next we're going to uh, introduce Eric McCracken of Docstar. Eric, I'm going to pass control over to you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today. My name is Eric McCracken with DocStar. I'm the manager of our AP Automation practice. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, our AP Automation solution today. And I know there are several uh, high quality top flight vendors on this call today. And I know once this presentation is over with, it's going to be pretty difficult to remember some of the key components of everybody, uh, of what everybody has said today. And I'd like you to think about a few things about DocStar and would appreciate uh, being considered as part of your evaluation going forward. We've been around now for about 20 years. Uh, we are not new to this game. We've actually implemented our solution into over 8,000 organizations across virtually every industry. And some of the few, uh, the, a few of the real key differentiators of our product, I believe, are centered around uh, our workflow engine and ease of use. And our workflow engine has over 60 tasks, so it can provide you a high degree of automation in taking a lot of what presently are human activities like data entry and automating those for you. Um, the workflow designer itself is really easy to work with, so once you have it deployed and you want to expand it into other business processes, it's pretty easy to do that additional customization on your own. And the user interface is very intuitive. Uh, the employees, your employees are going to adapt to it very quickly. And that's really helpful uh, in terms of getting up to speed quick and allowing you to start saving money almost instantly. And finally, beyond our technology, it's really our approach. We're very consultative in our sales approach. Uh, we are going to take the time to understand your business and understand your pain points and your requirements 
So we can build a solution around your requirements that's going to be a best fit for you. We're not going to try to force you into a solution uh, that we've sort of pre-built um, that may not necessarily be in your best interest. So what we do is we help our clients achieve a rapid return on investment in our technology. And we do this by helping them improve productivity, um, increasing operational efficiency. And again, that's going to result in a lower cost of, of doing business, whether it's around accounts payable invoice processing or any other business process that you're looking to automate. <clears throat> and we do that a, a number of different ways. Um, I'm showing you a few examples here of how we've saved our clients money, uh, starting with Collier Restaurants, where we were actually to, uh, able to help them save about 50 man hours a week, which, you know, that's that's a pretty demonstrable savings, and it's easy to show a return on investment in that fashion. Coming at it from a little bit different perspective, Allison Marine is actually going through a very rapid growth pace. So rather than having to add employees, having to add uh, storage for additional documentation, they were able to leverage our automation solution to eliminate that requirement. So again, a cost savings from a different perspective by not having to add headcount or additional storage to accomplish growth. And then next we have the conservation district who had a bit of a different pain point. They were really struggling with assembling data for just basic business reporting activities. So in addition to the common benefits that you get from implementing a workflow and content management solution, we were able to build out a powerful reporting suite for them as well that enabled them to quickly and easily assemble all of the data that they needed for their reporting. And it took what was a very cumbersome process that was taking over four hours uh, down to just a half hour to gather that information. And then finally, we have Crescent Crown. They um, realized a lot of the benefits that I've already described with automation and um, you know going paperless, uh, sending their invoices through a paperless workflow process. But probably the most important takeaway from my perspective in this instance is the fact that we delivered a solution that we promised we would deliver. A lot of the vendors on this call uh, we all talk about our features and benefits, and I think the key component is translating our features into a solution that's deployed on your site and making sure that it meets your requirements. And we did that in all instances, but demonstrating here with Crescent Crown. So now I want to talk a little bit about our AP solution and, and some of the, the key features within it. Um, so how does it work? Well. You want to start the process by <clears throat> capturing documents, whether they be in paper form or electronically, uh, running those through some type of a workflow process, and then getting them filed on the back end and making them easily searchable. So on the front end capture process, it's important to consider automation such as uh, intelligent data capture or optical character recognition. In this case, we're showing how we have the ability to automatically extract text from the documents that are brought into the system. So we're taking uh, the function, the data entry function, away from uh, your employees and we're letting the software do that heavy lifting for you so you can repurpose your employees to the higher level tasks. Like in this case, they're simply reviewing the data for accuracy and they can do more review and analysis functions for you rather than assembling paperwork and keying in data. Once that review and analysis is complete, it can continue on through the workflow. And we present you with a really nice uh, user interface where once you log in, all of your tasks are immediately available right in front of you and they allow you to focus in on the tasks that are most important uh, to keep the, the work moving through your organization. And here's a graphical representation of that workflow. This is just an example of an invoice approval workflow where you can see it has multiple branches, multiple potential pathways that the document can follow. And again, I, I mentioned earlier, it's a very powerful workflow engine. It has the capability of doing database uh, integrations where we can actually pull data in from an outside database automatically. We can do live lookups. We can push data that we've captured from documents 
into an external database such as Dynamics GP in this particular instance, where we're actually creating a payables transaction in GP from the workflow. So again, it's all about improving productivity, eliminating that data entry task, and making your organization more profitable. And probably more importantly, uh, or at least equally as important, is the ability to customize your workflows once you have it in place. This workflow designer is really simple to use. It's, it incorporates a lot of drag and drop features, so you can just drop in a new task or, or, or modify an existing workflow for a new process. Uh, say you start with uh, accounts payable invoice processing and maybe you want to expand it to human resources or uh, sales order processing, something like that, uh, you have that ability. So um, again, easily customizable, lowering your total cost of ownership long term. And then taking it to the retrieval side, once that data and documentation is in the system, how easy is it to get to? Well, we offer uh, multiple ways of retrieving information through either keyword searches, uh, searching on a variety of, of fields that have been captured. And um, in this instance that I'm showing, uh, we're actually showing you a purchase order entry screen inside of GP where we've actually embedded a retrieval button. So by virtue of the information that's reflected here, you just simply click that retrieve button and it passes that information into our application and it's retrieving the associated document that matches the information on the screen. So it makes just a one-click retrieval possible. So here's an example of that. Here's the document as it resides in Eclipse. And um, I'll point out a couple other things in this user interface that, uh, that we're very proud of, and that's the audit trail history. So you can see every action that's taken place with this document from the moment it was brought in. Uh, we can help you automate uh, your records uh, management practice where uh, you can create different record categories and set the retention periods for each one. We can make that an automated process for you. So again, very powerful. There are a lot of uh, benefits uh, associated with this in addition to just eliminating that back-end paper storage need as well. Reporting. Uh, we have a full re suite of reports that allow you to see real-time information, business intelligence uh, to allow you to manage throughput and productivity, and dashboards that provide a consolidated view of the key metrics that you're most interested in and, and staying on top of. So, so you really want to start, depending on where you are in the process, by identifying your biggest challenges, your pain points. Then you have to decide, are we looking for incremental improvement? Are we looking for a complete overhaul of our system? Then finally, you want to identify the right partner to work with. Do they have experience with your ERP system? Do they ask the right questions? Do they understand your business? And we believe, uh, we're very confident that Docstar is that right partner for you, and I would look forward to working with you. Again, my name is Eric McCracken. I'm the manager of our AP automation practice. I hope you all have a great day. All right, thanks, Eric. Mm -hmm. We are now gonna move to Patrick Wynn of Lexmark, and Patrick, I'm also going to open up your, um, give you control and then open up your audio. And I will also open up Quentin's uh, audio here. All right. Great. Thank you, Jason. Can you uh, see my screen and hear me okay? We can hear you and see your screen. Um, Quentin, can we just do a quick audio test on you? I'm sorry, it looks like you're still muted. Can you hear me? We can. All okay. right, so Patrick, okay. the floor is yours. Great. Thank you, Jason, and thank you, everybody, for joining today. My name is uh, Patch Wynn. I'm the Channel Sales Manager here at ReadSoft from Lexmark. And with me is Quentin Servalaval, uh, one of our customers at Benefit Cosmetics. Today, we will highlight who we are, what we do, and our ReadSoft online cloud AP automation solution, which runs on Microsoft Azure, and have a quick discussion with our existing customer, Benefit Cosmetics. So the integration of ReadSoft and Perceptive Software into Lexmark brand delivers an end-to-end -end solution for total financial process automation. And this goes far beyond a basic accounts payable process. An end-to-end -end solution for financial process automation should apply to every critical activity within your finance group, 
everything from purchase to pay to order to cash and every process in between. And it comes with three principles as standards to keep in mind. Integrated, providing a common user experience with the ability to manage consistent quality data throughout every step of your financial process. Scalable, is it able to fit the changing needs of your company as you expand and grow and in your scope and your company matures and adapts to the different document-centric processes that you have? Complete, meaning you're working with one vendor that can provide all aspects of an end-to-end -end solution, including help identify any gaps that may exist in your current environment and ongoing analysis across your financial uh, processes. And some of the key industry validation points that also helps Lexmark stand out in the AP automation industry space are we have been recognized by Gartner as a leader in the ECM Magic Quadrant and also Enterprise Search Magic Quadrant. Uh, we are a global organization with strong financials and commitment to continue evolving in the financial process automation space. We help over 12,000 AP Automation customers process more than 2 billion invoices every year, or 7.5 million invoices per day. We have a strong focus in innovation, and our last four IFO Innovation um, Award winners are our customers. And as a company, we maintain a large patented portfolio. Now this slide walks through a typical AP process and some of the key challenges we've seen in other organizations. From the outside, invoice processing may seem simple. As we all know, though, there is a lot that goes on in making the magic happen. Now, does this process look similar to your organization? It probably does. Well, everyone's process is unique, but this represents typically how pro what we've seen in other organizations' process. At every point in this process, there may be pain points. Pains such as lost invoices, approvers are out of the office, missed discounts or late fees that are being charged um, throughout the process, and compliance issues that your organization may have. Now, which of these pain points are familiar to you and your organization? And what other challenges that you may have that aren't shown here? There probably may be others. Streamlining AP with e-invoicing and workflow automation can improve performance and ultimately boost a company's bottom line through four key areas as identified by Paystream Advisors. We look specifically at efficiency and visibility improvements, finance and AP can both update their image within the organization and better their professional standing when efficiency is increased through the electronic automated process with um, fewer supplier inquiries, fewer late payments, uh, delaying additional orders, uh, better opportunities, uh, taking potential discounts in exchange for early payment instead of fees for late ones. No longer can AP be blamed for losing an invoice or misplacing an invoice when it can all be tracked electronically. Vendor relations and controls. The benefits around vendor relations and controls are significant. E-invoicing and vendor portals offer a collaboration with suppliers where they can not only view status of their invoices, but also get ahead of processes by entering invoices themselves or converting PO transactions into invoices for quicker management with the transaction and response. Controlling these financial processes not only ensures enforcement of such processes, but also improves the auditability and allows AP to feel confident that their organization's regulatory compliance are being adhered to. And with the business opportunity and automating and gaining efficiency, it's important to remember the reasons for automation and who benefits within the organization. Next, I'd like to um, introduce uh, Quinton Saval Laval, one of our customers with Bene at Benefit Cosmetics. And Quinton and his organization wanted to share uh, their experience in the evaluation process, the implementation process of ReadSoft Online with AX, and um, what's the benefit they're getting out of uh, the solution today. Um, so with that, I want to ask Quinton some questions. 
So, Quinton, why were you interested in AP Automation Solution, and what prompted your organization to investigate solutions? So, uh, Patrick, our company, Benefit Cosmetics, uh, has been growing a lot during the past years, and uh, this led to an increase in the volume of invoices, but our process was still very manual. Uh, we realized last year that it was taking our IP processors an average 15 minutes to, com to completely process an invoice. They had to uh, manually input the invoice information in our ERP Microsoft Dynamics AX, uh, exchanged by email with the managers to code approve the invoice, and then uh, they filed the invoice with the printed approval email, the corresponding check. So everybody was losing a lot of time, and our uh, users were complaining because the archive was still on paper, so uh, they had very low visibility on their invoices. So we started looking at solutions to improve the process, and uh, an AP automation solution seemed to be the best option for us. Great, great. So obviously you went through a vendor selection process. Tell us about that selection process and why Benefit Cosmetics chose ReadSoft from Lexmark over other solutions. During the selection process, we studied approximately, I would say, 12 providers, uh, and our main requirements were that the solution needed to be easy to use for the administrators, for the AP team and the approvers. We also wanted it to be online, cross-platform, because um, a lot of um, our, um, our managers uh, travel a lot. We wanted them to be able to approve invoices uh, when they're traveling. The second big requirement was that the solution must be compatible with AX in both ways, uh, in order to pull vendor and jail information from AX, but also to push the invoice information to AX when the invoice is approved. Uh, we also wanted the possibility to easily include ReadSoft, uh, well, the solution, in a newer version of AX, as we're currently on AX4, but we have the project to move to a newer ver version of AX uh, soon. And the last requirements were uh, low IT involvement, a short implementation time, and the pricing that would bring the quickest return on investment for uh, our company. When it comes to the reasons why we chose ReadSoft from Lexmark uh, over the other solutions, I would say the major reasons are um, that the company is the global leader in document processing. During the demos, we got the solution seemed uh, very complete, very stable. Second reason is that uh, Benefit is owned by a French luxury group, and some of our brands have been using ReadSoft for over four years now, and they gave us good feedback on the company and uh, the solution. And the last reason is uh, the pricing and the good relationship that we had built with sales and implementation teams during the selection process. Great, great. Well, after the selection process and you've chosen ReadSoft and ReadSoft Online from Lexmark, tell us about the implementation process. Overall, the, the implementation process went uh, pretty smoothly. Uh, the implementation manager and the support team uh, at ReadSoft Online uh, were really available during the whole process. What well, was good because it lowered the involvement of uh, our IT team here at Benefit. We faced some minor issues along the way coming mostly from the fact that uh, we hadn't defined clearly what would be the processes with the AP automation solution. So we needed to change the setup uh, on a daily basis, but the fact that we can submit feature requests directly in Resoft Online is really helpful uh, because they can take into consideration our requests and uh, release new features without having to update anything uh, on our site. Overall, I would say the, the implementation took approximately uh, 90 days, uh, what was in line with what we expected and what the sales team had estimated for us. Great, great. Appreciate that feedback. Now, since you've been live on ReadSoft Online from Lexmark, has the solution benefited your organization and uh, eliminate the pains that you were seeing prior to implementing an AP solution? Um, the main improvement uh, has been the visibility that our managers have on their invoices. Uh, they're all now all at the same place. Uh, they can access the image, the information, the invoices, uh, wherever the managers are. Second benefit is the time gain. Uh, with the optical recognition and the flow of information, we reduce the manual input of data by, uh, I would say, 80% while reducing the physical space needed to store the invoices. And we are finally, time. as as you can add comments and attachments uh, to the invoice, let me just uh, finish my last sentence uh, on the platform. The mailboxes of our AP team are uh, less flooded, and the processes are much more structured. Okay, great. Quinton, I do appreciate your time, 
and um, you being available for this uh, webinar. Appreciate uh, Benefit Cosmetics as a uh, valued customer of uh, Reads Off by Lexmark. Um, just have one Patrick, last I do, slide. I do need to cut you off, Patrick. I'm sorry. Okay. We're, uh, we're, we're over fine. time now. All right. Okay. Thanks. Thank, thank you very much. And uh, we are now going to have to, to uh, turn to our final presenter of the day, and that is Bob Hawley of Metafile. Bob, let me make sure your audio is, your line is open. I am seeing your screen. Can you hear us? Yeah, Jason, can you hear me okay? We can. Oh, good. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Thanks very much, everyone, for taking the time out of your busy day. Let me uh, get this set up so you can see it. Uh, Metafile Information Systems is the company that I represent, uh, and the name of the product is MetaViewer. Uh, MetaViewer is an enterprise content management solution. Uh, we've been in business for over 35 years doing what we do in the document management space. And I'm going to give you a, a few slides here to uh, get your thinking a little bit, and then we'll jump into product if we have time to show you a few uh, screenshots of uh, what MetaViewer is and what it does. Uh, company background. I uh, mentioned 35 years of experience doing this. Uh, we're a privately held company headquartered in Rochester, Minnesota, with over 3,500 installations of MetaViewer worldwide. Uh, several of the gentlemen earlier uh, talked about the solutions that are being represented today, and they're all very good solutions. There are some questions that you need to ask that we think are very important in your determination of which solution is best for you. Uh, we all have uh, essentially the same components to our software, but there are little nuances uh, that are different between each of us, and I would encourage everyone on the call to really not just look at the car, but to raise the hood and potentially even take the air filter off to look underneath because you'll start to see differences between the solutions that are being presented today. Questions that you need to ask vendors, for example, is the solution a browser-based solution or is it a client-server solution? Is full text searching of documents available? Now, several of us talked about AP Automation. MetaViewer has an AP Automation solution that is integrated to any version of Dynamics or any Dynamics flavor, if you will, AX, NAV, GP, and SL. Um, so for AP and, and accounting functions, text searching might not be something you need. However, if you take MetaViewer outside of the world of accounting and want to do searches for different words in documents, Full text searching is something that is used typically by our clients. So if you're interested or, and need the ability to text search on a document, uh, make sure that they show you that when uh, you ask. Does the system offer document reading technology? You heard that earlier uh, by several of the folks that have presented today. Uh, document reading technology can and does reduce data entry. Uh, but how much does it cost? How much does it add to the solution cost? Uh, is it worth it to you to have document reading technology? Perhaps you're processing fewer documents and don't really see the cost justification. So understand what that document reading technology adds to the cost of the overall solution. Are acquisition options available? Uh, we offer MetaViewer as a purchase, a perpetual license type model. We also offer MetaViewer in the cloud, and we offer MetaViewer on-premise in a subscription way. So there's lots of different ways to acquire the technology that is MetaViewer, and one might be the preferred method for you uh, based on uh, your needs and goals. Some additional questions that you need to ask, how much automation? does the system offer out of the box? One of the earlier uh, presenters uh, suggested a blank piece of paper uh, coming to the table with a blank piece of paper and building a solution for you. 
another one earlier suggested they had a pre-built solution that would, could be modified. We've actually taken the approach of, for AP automation, pre-building a solution that is easily modifiable and expandable based on your needs. Why did we do that? Well, we did that to uh, be able to implement the solution much, much quicker than coming out with a blank sheet of paper. We also know that the middle market customers that are interested in this uh, solution, those that are running Dynamics, don't want to sign a blank check. They want to know how much the solution is going to cost, and they want it in typically quicker. Uh, so how much human intervention is needed to process a document through workflow? How involved is workflow? How quick and easy can it be built or modified? Those are all questions you need to ask. Uh, the human intervention piece is important. Many of us will promote the idea of receiving documents electronically. Telling your vendors, for example, if you're looking at MetaViewer for AP automation, to electronically deliver their invoices to you. What's the benefit there to you? What happens when that vendor invoice hits your inbox? Does a user have to push that document into the system? Or can the system automatically monitor the inbox where the invoice or where your customer order might come and bring it in and automatically read it without any human intervention? So those little nuances may be the difference between the solutions that you hear today. What integration methods are available? How can we, how does the system read data from your Dynamics application? And probably more importantly, how does the system push data, invoice data, or order data, if you're looking at MetaViewer for sales order processing automation? How does it push data to Dynamics? You as a customer need to understand what you're responsible for. Some solutions might push it to an intermediate table and say, there you go, it's all yours. Well, then you've got to take it from that intermediate staging area into your Dynamics application. So you're responsible for that. Can the system integrate with other applications? Is it expandable? Perhaps you're going to start with AP automation, but you want to eventually store other documents, like employee records or contracts. Perhaps you want to integrate the solution with SharePoint. Is that possible? Those are another good question to ask. And lastly, what dashboards and reporting does the system come with? We do have an out-of-the-box solution for AP automation. It helps us get started quicker. We sit down as a consulting firm and we work with you and talk about the standard product that we offer for AP automation and how that needs to be modified to meet your requirements. Perhaps it doesn't need any modification, or perhaps it needs some modification to better fit your workflow process. So system overview from an accounts payable perspective, at its core, MetaViewer is a document repository. Think of it like an electronic filing cabinet. Invoices come in, they go through a process called Invoice Accelerator. And Invoice Accelerator is the tool that we use to read the data from the invoice, thus reducing the amount of data that you have to key in, such as invoice number and vendor name and invoice amount. Header information is standard in our Accounts Payable Automation solution. If you want line item detail, that's also available as well. Workflows. Our standard AP automation solution has two workflows pre-built. One to handle non-purchase order invoices, and the other to handle purchase order invoices. Because different things happen to those documents as they go through the workflow process. Retrieval. Non-Dynamics users will get to documents if you allow them to, based on their security or their role within MetaViewer, using a browser. Dynamics users can easily get to documents in MetaViewer 
by way of the Dynamics window itself. We can even build integration from a SharePoint window to allow someone in SharePoint to search for documents that are in MetaViewer. And lastly, not as part of our standard AP automation solution, but as an add-on, we offer a vendor portal. Now, if the screen that you're looking at were to talk about system overview from a sales order processing side, obviously that vendor portal wouldn't be there. Customer portal would be. So that's kind of an overview of the solution. I want to take you into the actual product and show you what happens. Here's the home page for MetaViewer. You'll notice that the dashboards or the charts that are on top of the page help users identify where documents are in workflow. Are there bottlenecks? Who owns the documents in workflow? After the document goes through the invoice accelerator process, they land in this verification queue. You'll notice that we've not separated yet the invoices that are PO related from those that are non-PO related. So here's my invoice along with the accompanying data that has been read from the invoice and the data that we've captured from Dynamics to add to that invoice. Again, Bob, you're at time. Okay, thanks. Again, lowering the amount of data that has been entered. Last point I want to make, please ask very detailed questions about workflow uh, between the different vendors, and you'll start to see the different differences that each of us offer. Thanks very much for your time. All right, thank you, Bob. Thanks to all of our presenters. Uh, some really interesting ideas, uh, a great look at different perspectives on different and different capabilities as well. I want to open the, uh, the uh, session up now to our audience. We'd love to hear what your specific challenges are, uh, if you have specific questions about an individual product or more general questions on approaches that uh, these different organizations use to solve problems. We'd love to hear your thoughts, your questions right now. Uh, one other note, um, we do have a survey that we uh, that you will see after the session today. I just want to remind folks to be on the lookout for that. It provides really valuable feedback for us, for our speakers, uh, to really know how we did, what we can do to make these sessions valuable for you in the future as well. So uh, we'll do a reminder again uh, to ask your questions. Now, I, there's one question I'd like to kind of pose to everyone. Uh, just, just uh, it's something I always like to check in about as uh, as time goes on here. Obviously, a lot of changes in the uh, Microsoft product line over, uh, you know, let's say maybe in the last year since I've probably talked to some of you before. Um, I, I'm interested uh, from your perspective and prob probably from your company's perspective what some of the more interesting you know, technology advances are that you think are, are coming out, out of Microsoft that will both uh, have uh, an impact or a benefit on your own company's ability to, to execute your own product as well as what you're perhaps seeing from your customers and what they're thinking about uh, as, it, as it relates to um, some of the newer options from Microsoft when, when it comes to dynamics, when it comes to related technologies. And uh, I'll maybe throw that open to everyone to start perhaps with, uh, with Dave Leonard from Bottom Line. Uh, Dave, are you still there? Let me, actually, let me take you off mute. Yeah, I'm here, Jason. So, uh, yeah, there's undoubtedly been a lot of uh, news and advancement coming out of Microsoft, uh, especially, especially following uh, from Convergence. We've seen uh, releases come out uh, recently from and certain for certain versions of different ERP systems, and a lot of talk around uh, the cloud and Azure and what have you. So, with all those things, it, uh, for bottom line specifically, it's uh, no doubt a, a priority of ours, and, and we map in our our technology and our stack uh, to align with that, especially since we align ourselves to to the SharePoint stack. So, with that said. Uh, We've already seen our, ourselves, uh, you know, seen our solution step up in, in Azure, and, and we'll continue to evolve and work closely as we are a part of the Microsoft you know, Technology Adoption Program as well. So uh, that's the kind of things that we're seeing, and I'll, I guess I'll leave it to others to interject as well. All right. Uh, John Litwa from Avalara. Any thoughts from your end? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we always uh, have held true to 
um, you know, work with Microsoft and our commitment to them is to continue to support our integrations um, as, as they're actively supporting the, the product lines that they have out. Uh, we recently, within the past two months, uh, certified our new connector for Dynamics SL and will continue to improve and expand on the different versions that they come out for their ERP systems. All right, great. Um, Eric McCracken from Docstar, um, I'm going to take you off mute here. Do you have any, any thoughts from your perspective? We do, Jason. Uh, thank you. Um, we, we certainly stay current with, um, with all of our connectors to, to all the, the suite of Dynamics products. Uh, we are a value leader in um, being able to add value by, with our technology to the various ERP systems. and um, being able to offer both a cloud and an on-premises offering that, that has an open architecture enables a pretty seamless integration across the entire suite of products. All right, and I would next like to uh, turn to Patrick Wynn of uh, Lexmark. Yeah, so Lexmark, um, we've been working very tightly and uh, closely with the Microsoft uh, different ERPs um, product and development team in, in regards to the integration and the certification of our solutions with the different Dynamics ERPs. So we're very tightly integrated and uh, in working with not only our solution integrated, but also in working with their product and development team with our AP automation solutions. So we're definitely current with all the latest releases and the future releases in the planning stages of, of those releases as well. And, um, as we know, a lot of uh, the solutions are going into the cloud, um, just like AXs and some of the other ERPs in the future. So we're we're very much in touch with uh, with that, with our solutions. All right, thank you. And Bob Holly from Metafile. Yeah, thanks, Jason. As a uh, Microsoft Gold certified partner, um, we are always going to be compatible uh, with any. Microsoft supported version of uh, Dynamics, again, SL, AX, NAV, and uh, GP, uh, both backwards and forwards compatible. Uh, a lot of early adopters uh, to the latest versions of software uh, can be assured that when they do go to that later version or that latest version that MetaViewer Meta will already have the built-in connectors needed that's part of our commitment to Microsoft as a gold certified partner. All right, great. Well, I'm not seeing any questions right now, so we will begin to wrap up. Uh, today's session has been recorded, and we'll be making that available to you on demand very soon. Um, if you do have any questions for our audience, I'm going to put up their um, contact information here. And we'll leave that up. Uh, they, any of them would obviously be happy to take questions after today's event and uh, provide you with any more information. With that, we are going to close out today. I want to just, uh, thank, say thanks again to all of our presenters for uh, taking the time to be here and for working in, uh, in the restrictions of today's uh, sort of format. And thank you, everyone in the audience, for their attention. With that, we will close out the event. Have a great day.